Well, today is Tuesday, July 3rd. I'm hoping it's not too breezy, that you're not hearing a lot of whooshing, because if it's the case, then I'm going to be wasting my time doing this because I won't put it up. But if you see this, obviously it was fine. Um, I was looking at some tips for my vacation because I do plan on being good on my vacation. Not to say that I'm not going to have an occasional snack or treat or something like that, but for the most part I'm going to eat healthy. And so I was looking up different uh, things and I found an article about 24 clean eating tips. And they tell you that clean eating is focusing on consuming whole foods that are minimally processed and are as close to their natural form as possible. Makes sense. Uh, the first thing they tell you to do, which is true of everything, you cut out sugar. Um, there's so much sugar in everything nowadays that you really have to really check the labels. And try to swap things out. I don't like this idea because I don't like yogurt, but it said to swap your ice cream for a Greek yogurt and top your yogurt with some berries and cinnamon. That sounds pretty good. It really does. But um, I just can't get past the taste of yogurt. Although, you know what? I like the... Uh, the one dressing, I think it's the skinny girl that has yogurt in it. And I also like that uh, spinach artichoke dip which made with yogurt. So maybe if I fancy it up, I might like it. Just to eat it plain, I don't. Um, number two, bring out your inner chef. When you cook for yourself, you know what the ingredients are. Oh, I went to the Olive Garden last night and I did order grilled chicken, but I'm sure that they used a lot of olive oil even though they grilled it because it was a little, you know, not greasy, but you know, like oily. And uh, if you cook it yourself, you know exactly what ingredients you're using, and you can keep it in check a little bit better. Uh, the the Parmesan crusted zucchini was excellent, but I, I like once again. How do I know how they really grilled it? What did they put on it? Um, it probably was stuff that I wouldn't have used at home. Number three, when you're shopping, always shop the perimeter of the store. That makes sense. If you shop the outside of the store, that's where none of the processed foods are. It's where the fruits and the vegetables and the eggs and the dairy and things like that, the cheeses, they're all on the outside of the store. The inside of the store is where you're going to hit all the processed foods. Um, number four, support your local farmers, uh, especially in my town and all the little towns around me because um, I don't live that far from farm country. I'm not in farm country, I'm in a suburb, but I'm not that far from farm country. And we have a farmer's market every weekend in town. And uh, what's nice is you can talk to the people that are growing the food. You can find out what they're using for the pesticides, um, how they you know, plant it, how they water it, how, you know, when they harvest it. And uh, a lot of times if it's a new vegetable or something that you've never tried before, they can help you and tell you how to cook it or, or prepare it. Uh, Number five, stop eating diet foods. All, uh, all these foods have added sweeteners and preservatives and um, they have added sugars. If you really just check the labels of diet foods, you'll see that there's just so much. Um, a low-fat yogurt has 23 grams or 6 teaspoons of sugar. Um, you don't really think about that when you're because you think I'm eating yogurt, that's got to be healthy. But then you see that and you realize, oh, not so much. Number six, go for the greens. Greens are loaded with vitamins and minerals. Uh, you can always incorporate a little bit of green. You, if you make an omelet, you can throw some spinach in it. Um, you can always get enough greens. If you really put your mind to it, you really can. Number seven is ditched refined carbs. Refined carbs load, lead to obesity and diabetes. And you want to eat a whole grain, which is like oats or barley or brown rice. Um, you know, I do like brown rice, but for some reason I always pick white, and I don't know why. Number eight, choose nutrient-dense foods, which would include broccoli, berries, eggs, red peppers, seeds, sweet potatoes, and wild-caught salmon. I'm not a big fan of salmon, but I'm thinking they're not talking about the canned salmon, they're talking about fresh salmon. Number nine, keep it clean while eating out. Swap your breadsticks for a salad, or ask for uh, veggies instead of the potatoes, and um, try to choose a lean protein when you can. And number 10, meal prep for success. If you prep your own meals and you plan ahead a menu for the week, you kind of stay with it. I like to, when I get up in the morning, decide what I'm going to eat for the day. And not to say that I stay with it 100%, but I kind of like, you know, stay with it somewhat. It kind of gives me a guideline to go by. And it, it does prep me for success. Number 11 is eat whole foods. Focus on one meal at a time instead of eating like a sugary cereal. Try swapping it out for oatmeal. 
um, if you've got most people 21 at least 21 meals in a week and at least seven snacks try like to gradually work your way into it just say like this week I'm going to do two days that I'm going to pick one meal and then the next week say I'm going to pick three days that I'm going to pick two meals and, and just gradually get into it and sooner, sooner or later you'll you'll be making smarter choices number 13 follow a plant-based diet and add veggies to every meal um, you can make an omelet with, with spinach and mushrooms and uh, peppers and there's so many things you can put in an omelet and, and it's all basically a zero point breakfast then and you're just loaded up and you're full you don't have to worry about being a little bit hungry later on number 14 is to take a look at the labels whole foods don't need a label when you go to the produce department and you pick up a tomato it doesn't tell you what the ingredients is of the tomato you know what a tomato is the same with the broccoli or the cauliflower um, it's when you go into the inner aisles and you pick it up and you look at the stuff and you'll be amazed at how much stuff is in there if you can't pronounce it then you don't know you don't want that in your body if you can't pronounce it number 15 is focus on ingredients not calories uh, like they, they tell you avocados and nuts are really high in calories but they're better for you than a candy bar uh, they're both going to have the same amount of calories probably but if you think about it the avocados and the nuts is more of a, a protein that's going to stick with you than the candy bar the candy bar is just going to give you that quick sugar rush and then you're going to be done and that'll be it um, you need to stop focusing on whether a food is a good food or a bad food uh, you need to develop a healthy relationship with food uh, if you want that candy bar have that candy bar don't worry about the calories in the candy bar but don't focus on it that it's a bad food because it's not a chocolate how can chocolate be bad for you really chocolate is good but you know and like I've always said that if you kind of deprive yourself of it in the long run you're gonna binge on something else um, so it's just better just to have that candy bar if, if you're tempted get the little snack size bars you know they're like a Hershey kiss is only one point so if you ate three little Hershey kisses and just put them in your mouth and just really savored them it would satisfy that sweet tooth and it would get you on to the to your next meal number 16 is to fill up on protein a uh, protein has been shown to suppress your hunger boost your metabolism increase your muscle mass and decrease your body fat um, I like to have a protein at every meal I never realized that I didn't do that before but now I do I, I try to get like an egg or a piece of chicken or some some sort of protein I try to get in it of course I only eat two meals but so that's really how hard can it be but um, I do try to make a point of, of doing that number 17 is experiment with new foods um, I love zucchini and to me an experiment yesterday was substituting the pasta side for the Parmesan and cr crusted uh, zucchini and although I did miss the spaghetti or the you know the side of the spaghetti the zucchini was really good and I think it was like an experiment for me because I just proved to myself that you know I can order vegetables instead of that pasta on the side number 18 is eat the rainbow you want to make your plate as colorful as you can make it um, I like to make my fa my plates look fun I try to make like with my berries like a little face and with the egg is the nose and the bananas the smile and I know it's like I'm going to be 68 and I'm still playing little games with my food. But I think if your food looks nice, that's why chefs make such a presentation. They always tell you, like if you watch MasterChef or anything like that, they'll always say, taste really good, but the presentation really wasn't that appetizing. You want to eat with your eyes first, and you want to figure out how good it's going to taste, but just by looking at it, and you can tell. And if it's all very colorful, it's going to be a healthier meal. It's going to be a healthier choice. Um, number 19 is to keep your fridge and pantry stocked makes sense if you've got everything that you need in your pantry you're not going to run to the store like oh I forgot this and then when you get there you don't go in there just to buy that one thing you always pick up something else that you didn't really need so you're going to save on your food budget in the long run uh, you're going to stretch your meals and uh, just a plan of action you can just go in there it, prepping your food too like it's easier just to go in there if you've already prepped your carrots than uh, that's a, well, I gotta clean the carrots now. I live by an Air Force base. We're gonna hear this a lot. Especially, especially on the weekends when they have their training exercises. Plus, uh, since I'm so near the water, we get a lot of times we get the rescue captors for the boaters that are having problems out on the water. So we get we get a lot of that. And then I'm not really close to hospitals around here so um, 
A lot of times if you really seriously hurt, the air left you out. Boy, I sound like I'm in the boonies, but I'm really I'm not. Um, number 20 is don't deprive yourself. Follow a plan that you're going to follow for the rest of your life. This has taken me forever to lose my seven. I've lost 71 and a half pounds, and it's going to be 18 months that I've been on it. And uh, it's taken me a long time, but you know, along the way, I've learned what I can eat when I'm going to eat it. And uh, I'm not depriving myself. And if I don't lose weight on a certain week, I, I'm fine with that because I'm enjoying my life. And the whole secret to this healthy living is to enjoy your life. If you're feeling deprived and you're feeling left out of things, you're, you're not going to succeed. You're just not. You have to realize that um, it's a lifelong journey because once you reach your goal, you're going to have to eat like this anyhow. You might, you might be able to increase a little bit of food on your plate, but for the long run, the rest of your life, this is how you got to eat. So uh, learn how to master the uh, triggers in your life and, and learn how that just because you get triggered by a piece of cake or a piece of pie or something like that, that's not the end of the world. That's just one meal, of one snack, one day. Uh, just move on. Get right back on track. That's all you have to do. Don't set, talking to myself now, don't set unrealistic goals. Just, if, you can, if you're a goal setter and you can do that, that's fine. But I am not a goal setter as far as losing my weight and being a set amount of, you know, like knowing I'm going to lose a set amount of weight. I can't do that. But I know that I can do this. This is how I'm going to eat the rest of my life, so I don't feel deprived. I went out last night and I had my meal. I enjoyed it. I chose wisely. Um, my la anniversary last year, I wouldn't have chose as wisely. So in a year, I've learned a lot about myself, and I've learned that, you know what? It's only one meal. Yeah, I can do what I want. Um, number 21 is make healthy versions of your favorite snack. Dip some strawberries in some chocolate. Like I said, you can have a little bit of chocolate. It's not going to kill you. Um, don't put so much chocolate on it that you don't taste the berry. That might make no sense, but just a little bit, you know. Um, if you need a little side dish to, of ranch dressing to dip your vegetables, if that's the way you're going to eat your vegetables, measure out two tablespoons of the dressing and, and then do it. Um, it's a healthier version. It's healthier to eat just like dipping your vegetables into the, the dip, like the ranch dip, than to uh, have a piece of cake, have a couple cookies. Just make smarter choices. Uh, number 22 is um, clean up your coffee. Think about what, what you're putting in your coffee. Look at your sweeteners and your uh, sugars and creamers and you know flavored things that you put in it and make smarter choices that way. Uh, number 23 is to practice intuitive eating. Find a technique that teaches you to make healthy choices and pay attention to when you're really hungry. Think to yourself, am I really hungry or am I just thirsty? You got to know your triggers and just figure out that this is I'm gonna eat three meals and a snack today and just say like at 10 o'clock I'm gonna eat breakfast at 2 o'clock I'm gonna eat lunch at 6 o'clock I'm gonna eat dinner and then at 8 o'clock I'm gonna have a snack um, just know that you're gonna eat like with and then like after 8 o'clock don't eat uh, I eat my breakfast around 1 I eat my dinner around 7 and then I don't eat anything after that and I don't eat anything before that but I eat in between and it seems to be working for me and number 24 is try to eat organic. Um, obviously, you don't want all those preservatives and pesticides and things like that in your system. Uh, if you're eating a little bit more organic, you're going to have a healthier food choice. And it's going to be really, uh, if you ever noticed, if you bought a bag of carrots and you don't eat them right away, they turn white. The reason they're turning white is when they've pre-washed them, they've used bleach. And after a while, the bleach soaks through and comes to the surface. So you're really eating bleach. So you're better off getting your own carrots and cleaning them yourself and then cutting them up. But you want to remember that clean eating isn't a diet. It's a healthy way of eating that you're going to follow for the rest of your life. Uh, don't ever deprive yourself. Just, just know, you know, you have to make smart choices. And um, it, clean, e clean eating doesn't have to be like a, life, like a death sentence or a life sentence. Well, it's basically a life sentence because you're going to do it for the rest of your life, but it's going to be a good life sentence. It's not going to be a bad life sentence. Hopefully those helped you. I know they helped me. I think I'm planning out my meals for next week and I'm going to do well. And uh, the following week when I'm in Minnesota, when I get there, I'm going to go to the store there and buy my stuff for there. And I'm going to, I'm going to make a healthy choices. So, okay, I will talk to you again on my daily vlog. Check me out. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Uh, leave a comment, 
Hit the like button and share if you think it'll help somebody.